Hello, Skylar Thomas here, and welcome to the first of the series of videos called Shark Reactions, where I take a comment that someone placed on one of my videos and just run with it. Today's comment is about my documentary, Great White Lies, and they say, 12 fatalities in 14 years doesn't seem like much, unless you're friends or family of one of those 12. Wow, that's brilliant. And let me just say I'm embarrassed that I never thought of it that way before that losing someone close to you is an unpleasant experience. I'll tell you, <laughs> what it doesn't do is change the number. That's less than one per year. The only number less than that is zero. So you think that it's achievable to get to zero. One is an insanely low number, but really the point here is that this person thinking they made a good point is missing the fact that this is the smallest number of almost anything harming humans. Yet we've made peace with everything else. The number of people who died from car accidents in Western Australia in the same period of time is staggering. The number of people who die in wars is staggering, but the numbers are so big that they're literally just becoming numbers. They're things that we can't really even deal with. This is why in recent years I've started thinking maybe what sharks need to do is kill more people, like a lot more people, and do it consistently. Now that sounds really, really mean and unsensitive, and by the way, if you're looking for a PC channel, you're on the wrong one. But let me explain why I said that. We've made peace with other things that kill shocking amounts of people compared to what sharks kill. Like, huge numbers that you can't even really fathom it's just a number. But this animal that we're supposedly crazy afraid of because of its deadly prowess, we, we won't allow it to kill less than one person per year. And by the way, that statistic was for a really bad stretch of time. So, and even then it was less than one per year. Sharks can't win, they're screwed. The only way out of this is for all sharks to die or for sharks to go into that other category. How do you react when you find out that there was a car accident or X number of people died from a crash? You're like, oh man, yeah, cars are deadly, but sharks are deadly. Sharks are listed as one of the craziest predators in existence, but when it actually kills someone, by the way, not going hunting for somebody, but when a human goes like floundering out into the ocean, and the shark makes a mistake, and the person bleeds to death from that mistake. The person isn't eaten, mind you. The person just dies because we're so much more fragile than the marine animals that shark usually bites. That's not okay. That's not acceptable. That is tragic, and that needs to stay in headlines for eternity. But when Nestle and PG&E poison the water and the land and kill a bunch of people and you know, that just gets settled out of court. What is that, the back page of the paper? While the shark that killed someone eight years ago is still getting headlines? This is why I presented the idea that sharks need to kill more people, not less people, more people, because they're already killing an almost impossibly low number, and that's not good enough. We demand zero. We demand zero while simultaneously saying that we're part of the food chain and it's a circle of life when we go out and slaughter things that have absolutely nothing to do with us. Right, we're part of the food chain, we're part of the circle of life, but not a single one of us is allowed to be killed by the perhaps most frightening predator on the planet? This is before I even bring speciesism into the equation and our humanistic approach to just look at everything being centered around us because we kill ridiculous numbers of everything else on the planet, like wildlife, but domestic animals, what we kill 80 billion a year or something like that while we're emptying out the oceans and while we're traveling thousands of miles across the world to go and kill exotic animals and then say part of the food chain, which clearly you had nothing to do with that animal whatsoever, much less be in its food chain. But an animal can never, ever, ever, ever kill one of us. Even if it is a great white shark, which half the time we're talking about how it could kill one of us. And yet it's never allowed to. All right, I want to keep this short. Um, 
let's try and figure out where he came up with 12 and 14 years. So if I, if this is about Western Australia and the movie was released in 2015, so let's go back 2002, there were zero fatalities, 2003, zero, 2004, one, 2005, one, 2006, zero, 2007, zero, 2008, one, 2009, zero, 2010, zero, 2011, three, 2012, two, 2013, one, 2014, one, 2015, zero. So that comes to 10 in 14 years compared to other places on the planet. That's a lot. That's still less than one a year. Yes, even though the numbers are small, it's tragic and it's sad for whoever is suffering that experience. How is that different than any other way that people die, except that it happens in far greater numbers with other things? I recommend watching Victory Over Sharks, which really digs deep into the numbers of shark bites and shark fatalities and a lot of the misconceptions behind it, and I'll put a link to that video in the description. But uh, yeah, there's actually a lot of information in that video, so I hope you'll go and take a look at it.